Siege peasy. Okay, start off by adding a UV sphere. Then go to edit mode and use proportional editing to change it into a flame shape. Then come over to the render tab, change EV to cycles, change the feature set from supported to experimental, and change the device to GPU compute. In the modifiers tab, choose subdivision surface modifier and tick the box that says adaptive subdivisions. Okay, come over to the shading tab and add a new material. First add a displacement node and hook it up to the output. Then add a noise texture with a mapping node and a texture coordinate. Change the texture coordinate from generated to object. Then hook the noise texture to the displacement. As you can see, when we do that, we get bump and no displacement. So to fix that, come over to the materials tab and under settings, change it from bump to displacement and bump. Then come over to the displacement node and change the height to about one. On the noise texture node, take down the scale until you get a smoother looking flame. You can play with the detail and the scale a little bit more and also the displacement height until you get the shape of the flame you like. I should also add that I didn't say earlier, you need to be in the rendered view to be able to see the displacement on the cycles engine. Now it's time to see what the flame looks like animated. To animate the flame, come over to the mapping node and under location on the Z axis, Move the Z axis into the minus and you'll see the flame starts animating upwards. And as you can see, I take down the roughness of the noise texture to give the flame a smoother surface. Right back to the principal BSDF and change the color to a dark orange. Put the roughness on full, then come down to where it says emission and change that to a dark red and increase the emission strength to around about 20. Now we'll give the flame some depth using the alpha channel. Start off by adding a mix RGB node, change the bottom color to black, then add a layer weight node and hook the facing up to the factor. Make sure that the color of the mix node is hooked up to the alpha of the principal BSDF. And if we come over to the layer weight node, we increase the blend factor. I found that around 0.96 was the perfect amount. Then go back to emission strength and increase it until the flame really starts to look good. Use the Z axis to animate the flame again to see how it looks. When you're happy with that, take the Z back to zero and press I to insert keyframe. Just make sure that you're on the first frame in the timeline. Then go back into layout mode and click on the end frame, come back into the shading tab and change the Z axis in the location to about minus 20. Press I to insert the keyframe and it's done. If you want a faster flickering flame, just to decrease the Z axis more. Now press play to test your animation and get ready to put it into a beautiful scene.